Walking around, it's an uh, all-original car. Being a 1988, uh, it should show a little bit worse for wear, even just being the age that it is, but uh, 32,000 original miles on the car, uh, and every bit of this car shows. Uh, it's all factory correct. You've got the red stripe here, uh, halogen lamps, obviously white hood, but a uh, couple of touched up stone chips across the front. There's no possible way you'd see it with the camera, even with that incredibly clear HD shot. Uh, but around the side, just again, want to stress factory clean. Uh, this is a Goodyear Eagle GT2 on here. Uh, stock factory wheel on there that you would have gotten in 1988. Excellent condition. 5.0 bed. Rolling in my 5.0. That's where I came from. And they just brought the 5.0 back actually for 2011 with Ford, but uh, down the driver's side, uh, it's excellent. You're going to see just a couple of tiny uh, just imperfections there along the side, but uh, all the way down. Again, the rear tires, uh, Goodyear Eagle GT2s, and the wheel. Excellent condition. Around the rear you're going to see what probably was familiar to a lot of Wheaton residents back in the day. Packy Web sticker on the back of the many Mustang GTs that Web Boys here sold. Uh, you can see the luggage rack on the deck lid there. That was a popular option. Uh, it does include the original factory boot, as you can see there, goes over the convertible top. But the passenger side is uniform just like the drivers. It really is excellent shape. Let's take a glance under the hood, you're going to find the familiar stock 5 liter V8 engine. Now, this does show the 5.0 high output V8. Now, this is a venerable Fox body platform. Uh, in this tune, it makes 225 horsepower. Uh, and a lot of the convertibles you saw are routed to an automatic transmission, which this is. It's routed to the rear. Uh, this really is an amazing car. Uh, in 1988, I was in third grade. Uh, this car was the first Mustang GT I ever got to go for a ride in. Not this particular, but it was an 88. If your memory serves correct, back in the day we had two keys for cars, so trunk key would get you in. Pop that open and you can see it's obviously not a gigantic trunk, but it's definitely still decent size by today's standards. And then we do have the original boot cover there uh, that it stores in when you're not using it. All you have to do is manually unlatch the roof and then Push the power top button forward. Drops itself right back. It's like it's 1988 again. Uh, take a look across inside. I don't have anything to call uh, as far as the interior. There's nowhere to the interior. The nice part is you actually have the uh, cloth combination interior, uh, which is way more specific to the time period. But stepping in is really simple. Uh, I'm a six footer. Uh, car's got a very conventional driving position. Nothing too crazy. I mean, the car is 22 years old. So uh, air conditioning, automatic transmission, cassette deck, uh, you're really talking about, uh, you know, most of the stuff you really would expect to see on everything in today, including cruise control and that power top. Now, if it was 1988, I wouldn't have six feet of height on me because I was all of uh, nine years old that year, but uh, I can fit back here. And, you know, it's a little bit snugger than what I remember from the past, but uh, really a heck of a car. This really is in brand new condition. Uh, let's take it for a drive. We'll see how brand new it really is. Very drama free driving experience. Drop it and drive. Got all that torque to pull you right through. Uh, what, what a really cool car. I mean, this is almost a time warp for me because this is really the uh, vehicles that I always wanted as a kid. Uh, I, I mean, this is such a well cared for car. There's no squeaks, there's no rattles. The steering is, is dead on. Uh, the brakes come down really nice. Alignment's perfectly dead on. And check this out. The AC blows ice cold in this car. Made sure of that. But just cruising along, you can really feel the torque in the V8. And that probably hasn't happened in a while for this car. Uh, it feels perfectly healthy. I mean, it's really a cruiser. This is a car, just so you know, they're not making any more of these. It's a super high quality car. I mean, if you really are in the market for an 88 Mustang uh, at any cost, uh, don't let the convertible fool you. This car's been so well cared for. Uh, I know one of the biggest telltale signs with these is that if they have been abused, you'll hear them squeak, you'll hear them rattle a little bit, but not the case in this car. This thing is fast, solid, quick, perfectly stock, and had to come from an extraordinarily loving home because there's not much that's uh, changed in condition in this car versus what you would have seen on the showroom floor.
back at Packy Webb Ford in 1988. Thanks for listening.